So I've just finished unlocking Team the Season Barella and in this video today we are going to try him out to see if he is worth the grind to unlock or not. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so you should check out my sponsor IG Vault, there's a link to do so in the description and if you use the code Kieran you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. To get this item you have got to complete 5 different objectives which are going to cost you a minimum of 12 games, well not cost you but take you a minimum of 12 matches. But to be honest the most annoying thing about getting this item is actually making the team. You've got to use a Syria side which has 11 players from 11 different teams which is a little bit annoying to put together but once you've done that the objectives are fairly simple. And if for whatever reason you are interested this is the side that I used to unlock him. Obviously went with an Italian striker because you are going to need Italian goals in each game and uh, the rest of the team is just players that I had in my club. So this is the team Nico Barella is going to play in. He's going to play like our box to box DM kind of role. I feel like that's where he's going to be best suited and to be honest he's got a card where you can play him where you want. He does have medium high wear crit so maybe you wouldn't want him at cam but um, he does look like he has the stats to play literally anywhere which is absolutely fantastic. The pace column is great. Very good acceleration of 93 and decent sprint speed just in behind. He looks very quick for a midfielder. Dribbling looks excellent for the most part, really good ball control and in-game dribbling, also 94 balance as well and decent agility as well for a mid. Passing looks class and um, very good vision, short passing and long passing and with him having that four star weak foot should be able to distribute really nicely off of either foot. Shooting also um, really, really good. It's not like, you know, super elite but for a midfielder who's got, you know, a defensive mindset, his shooting is pretty decent. So uh, hopefully we get to use some of that. Now we come on to the defensive stats. With him playing in a DM role, the interception stat is going to be key. 90 interceptions is great, as is the 91 stand tackle. And then his physicals are brilliant once more. Really good stamina of 96, nice strength of 89, and good aggression of 90. All in all, on paper, I think this card looks great. And considering it's a quote-unquote free item, like... I think it's a must get already, like I, I, I'm looking at the stats and I'm thinking this is going to be a good card in game even without using it so uh, hopefully it does perform as well as uh, the stats do indeed suggest. Chem Styles then with a basic he is a 95 rated mid which is absolutely fantastic but um, I, I think in regards to a Chem Style um, you're going to want to use something which is position suited so if you did want to make him a bit more well rounded if you were considering that centre mid rule maybe Gladiator could actually be a really good option or possibly Engine but if if you're going to use him in that DM role, I still think you go for Shadow. You max out that pace, make him incredibly quick and give him some really, really nice defensive stats as well because his physicals are already pretty good. And with a Shadow, he does look like a really, really good um, defensively minded mid who can, uh, you know, play through the lines and uh, get you going forward, helping turn defense into attack. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with Shadow and we're going to hope he can perform that role really well. And I've just noticed he's actually a 95 rated fullback uh, with this chem style, which is uh, pretty interesting. On Nico's debut, we are up against this very nice side featuring a bunch of blue items. Also appears to have had some decent luck in red picks as well. So um, he either could be a really good um, high rank achieving uh, champions, uh, foot champions player, or he could just be very lucky with gold free. I guess we'll find out. Nice. Just good position there from Barilla. Whee! Opportunity again for Brella to spread the ball wide, this time does successfully to Perisic who gets around his man really nicely there. Kyle Walker going to try and get down the wing here, Barella's doing well to keep up with him. Nice pick up by Barella, but sadly just couldn't get rid of the ball. Oh, really did really well to stay on his feet there and we're going to eventually get the foul. Tonali finds Barella in some space, gets the shot away, ah oh, deflection just didn't favour us. Good tackle there by the Italian. Nice, bro. A good pick up there. Edge of the box. Well, disappointing end to the half as uh, we go in at 1 1. The uh, goal we conceded was a rebound as well, which is uh, a bit frustrating, but uh, hopefully, still. We can uh, get the lead in at the second 45. Barella's played all right, to be honest. Um, nothing too crazy yet, but uh, hopefully um, is involved a lot more in the second half. Barella, nicely weighted pass there for Ribery to break. And now can we profit off this? Ball's whipped in to the box, to the back stick, but uh, Baku deals with it. Oh, Barella. I just wanted to take a touch and then finesse it, but... We were not given that space. Chance for Barella from the spot. We've just got a penalty and he's got a red card as well, I've just noticed. And Barella's put us in front. Great timing on that. 
Oh, Braille somehow come away with it there. He's put for a really nice through ball as well for Bruno Fernandes. He's going to cut back, hit the finesse, and he's going to score as well. Composed finish from the Portuguese forward. Nice from Braille there. Good bit of play. Puts Bruno in again. Oh, a good bit of link up, but the pass just had too much on it for Barella there. Would have been a great goal. How have we come with the ball there? Really? Our oh, referee. And there be the full time whistle. We get ourselves a pretty nice 4 1 victory. Comfortable in the end, but obviously the red card did have a part to play. And Barella actually got himself man of the match. A goal and a assist for him. Not too bad. Not too great in attack on the department, just at 50%. But uh, for the most part, had a really solid debut. We go again, and we are up against another side featuring a bunch of special cards. And unfortunately, he has a team of the season Alfonso Davis at centre back. So, uh. That's going to be annoying to play against. Chances, brother slides it through. Oh, Ronaldo, what a weird touch. Just couldn't control the ball. Nice pass from Barella there. I don't know what's happened. My opponent's defence has just opened up and Zielinski does not need a second invitation. He'll take full advantage. I don't know if he did an offside trap there or what, but whatever he did, it did not pay off. Win that pedal, please. Oh, I don't actually know who got the touch to that, but did enough no matter what. Come on, win this header against Busquets. Oh, I mean, it was a tough challenge, but to be fair to him, he's done really well there to come away. Barella slides the ball in nicely for Ribery, who, good challenge by my opposition, denies Ribery. Oh, would have been a nice goal. Well, we are 2-1 down at the break, thanks to, well, EA, to be honest. Um, I just couldn't switch player in that last five minutes, and uh, it really cost me, so uh, big second half coming up. Wow, Barella just got dominated there. Oh, what an intercept that is from Barella. Oh, I just couldn't find the space. Good intercept there from the Italian. Nice tackle from Barella. I'm not talking as much right now because I've got food in my mouth. And there is full time. We get ourselves a very, very good 3-2 victory in this game. And that was just one hell of a game in terms of just back and forth constantly and uh, Chesney had a great game and uh, his goalkeeper as you can see also had a ridiculous game it was uh, it was one of them where the ball just, just was not hitting the back of the net but uh, thought Brella played quite well to be fair another decent outing from him tackles won the zero out of three but um, did make some good intercepts which is a uh, quite nice so um yeah all in all pretty pleased with that performance so a couple of games in champs done with this nico barella what are my thoughts on this item um nice card definitely a nice one for a freebie and uh, considering there aren't too many midfield options in the Serie A team this season um i think he's you know a card which we should definitely consider picking up currently we've only got kessie who's very expensive and we've got the paul who's not very expensive but he's also not very good and other than that there's actually no midfield options so i'm expecting some um, mid sbcs um, at some point this week. Anyway, Barella for me is a definite pickup. He's 92 rated. Even if you're not going to use him, you can just throw him into an SBC. But I think he's very, very usable and I like him a lot as the secondary DM. Now, I'll say straight away, I don't think I'd use him as a lone DM. I just don't think his tackling ability is good enough for that role. But um, in a two, I do think he works very, very nicely. I like his passing a lot. The guy can certainly distribute both over short distances and long, which is great. And also his dribbling for a defensively minded player is very very nice in game so a couple of positives right there um, in regards to his defensive ability um, he makes plenty of intercepts which is great and does position himself rather well so that is obviously a benefit but I do have to say he's not as strong in the tackle as some other defensive options that you can pick up like let's say a team of the season Kessie for example so um, yeah defend uh, in regards to his defending he's not terrible but um, compared to some of the high rated DMs that we've got at this stage he's uh, not on at their level in regards regards to defending. Physicals are quite nice though, liked his stamina a lot, lasted the full 90 minutes with ease and uh, also showed good strength and aggression um, and fight for the ball as well in game which is great and obviously I'm very big on the pace, he did feel very very quick for a mid and his shooting to be fair it was decent like you're not going to shoot with him often but um if, if the ball does come to him he has got a chance of putting it in the back of the net his shots are pretty accurate although the shot power in them isn't particularly anything too crazy but all in all as i say very usable card definitely worth the pick up and if you're wrong with a serious side it should be a card that you should consider for your midfield i would rather have this item in my side for instance than a team this season the ball who i just really didn't get on with at all when I used him last night so uh yeah get this one done and uh if you've used him already let me know your thoughts on him in the comments below if you have enjoyed the video
video, please do leave a like rating on it. Let me know your thoughts on 92 Barella in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one.